I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did some folks come around and help us, white, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it, you know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Link. I wanted you to have a good life. I don't know if you... Saw over at Sammy's, but what the fire didn't get, the neighborhood took. Not out of malice, mind you. They wanted something to help them remember.
we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're almost likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Can I get a resupply in River Row? Be out directly. You spot anything you can use? Let me see what you got. Done.
Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. It's the worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. It's a kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. Well, my guy's been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there lickety split. Your money's always safer with me, Cher. Keep this safe. Bonsoir, Cher. What you do? Here is closed. Something about the owner being Ooh. called. Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. 
I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Trouble's coming. Motherfuckers need to wait your turn. in the wrong place, boy. I got you. Next time, keep your damned mouth. <coughs> Definitely self-defense. He's dead! Where are you? Got him! Over here! Your time is up, motherfucker! <laughs>
That can't be good. You've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer. And if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Can I get a resupply in River Road? Be out directly. You spot anything you can use? Show me what you got. with 
sir. He's all yours, boys. <laughs> Kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. 